Hi everybody and welcome back. My name is Lisa and uh, I want to share with you some of these little uh, boxes. They're, they're perfect for treat boxes. Uh, let's see, I got this. Open them up. They hold, uh, they'll hold candy, they'll hold small gifts in there. They're good for little swaps to put stuff in. And then the same way with this one, it's a little bit longer. And these, um, this long one was the um, Push Paper uh, Lady Sherry's idea. And then I took her idea and I cut it down and made a smaller one. So I'm going to show you how to make this big one first. Um, what you're going to need is a piece of cardstock that's five by nine and a half. So this is five by nine and a half over here. And then what you're going to do is on the five inch side, you're going to score this at one and a half. You're going to score this at two and one fours. You'll score it at three and three fours. And four and a half. So that's scored at one and a half, two and one fourth, three and one fourth, and four and one fourth. Then you're going to turn it to the long side. And you're going to score this at five eighths. This paper is kind of thick. One squat of the track. And then eight and one fourth. And nine. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see exactly what that looks like. Maybe on the red one you'll be able to see better. But it should look like this. You should have these double boxes all the way down this one and single boxes here and then the folds. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold all of our score lines. And you can lay these flat and um, store them, make up a bunch, and then you can have them when you need them. So on this bottom one, you'll have uh, this little corner here, which that'll be on my red one, you can see. We're going to take this little corner out. And then we're going to go up to the top, which you'll know is the top because it's a double fold. The bottom only has a single fold. And we're going to cut those first two squares out. So we got those out. And then we're going to come next to that. And we're going to cut this next little top square out. So you'll have one bottom one. And then we're going to cut this down on the score line. We're going to cut all these apart on the score lines. And then the one next to this big tag, you're going to cut the top one off just to reduce the box. And then we're going to go back in, and these little ones, we're going to angle them to get, get rid of some of the bulk. Just going to cut little angles out. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to cut these apart and we're going to angle the small ones. So 
So I'm just going in, I'm just angling the small ones. So now what we're going to do is you can fold this over and glue this on this tab. And then it should look like this. And what she does, which I'm going to leave the option to you guys. Where's my side? I want to see where my bottom is. Um, she takes this front tab, because you'll have the back and the top, and she folds that in. So it's more cleaner, but I'm going to cut off some of the box. You could cut this tab completely off if you wanted to, too. But I'm just going to cut off the first one, and then I'm going to angle it a little bit, and then I'm going to glue it in there, because we don't need all that. Oops, got the drops. I'm going to put that in. Then these two will go like this, and we're going to just angle the corner a little bit on the flap so it doesn't bind when we're sticking it in. Only come to that first score line though and angle it. And then we're going to push this in. It makes a nice good fit. On the bottom you will put your two flaps in and then bring the bottom piece up which is you can tell where the seam is I said I got the dropsies and some glue and then I'm going to do the same on this one I'm going to put some glue on there and I'm just going to hold that together line it up so that seals pretty good and you got a perfect box and what I did on this other one was um, you could take her design here and you can make this as big as you want you could keep go ahead score all your scores and then if you only want the box this big cut it this big and then come up with the uh, oh what is that a, this is a half inch score line on the bottom but what I did was I uh, I took a piece of paper that was uh, six and a half by five, and on the five inch side, I scored this at one one half. I scored this at whoops, my paper down one and one fourth. I scored it at two and three fourths, and I scored it at three and one fourth. And then I turned it, and I scored this at five eighths. I scored this at five and one fourth, and I scored this one at six. And then it's just doing the same thing as what we did on the other box. We're going to cut the one side out. So you can make this even smaller. Just follow her patterns. And on the bottom, you know, you're going to score that at 5 eighths, whatever. Keep all the same dimensions, and it'll work. That's how I did this one to come up with a little bit smaller box because I wanted a little bit smaller. I didn't want quite so long. Uh, we're just cutting all these tabs apart. We're angling in the small ones. This is on the one side that has one score line, which is the bottom. And 
And then we're going to come up to the top. We're going to cut the first two off. And then we're going to cut each one of these slits to the second line. We're going to reduce the balk on the two little tabs and cut them to the first score line. We're going to angle them in just to reduce some balk. These are really quick. And then I'm going to fold this over to see which one. Okay, this is going to be my front, so I want the one on the front. And I'm going to eliminate the front tab here. I'm going to cut that down so I don't have so much tucked in. Kind of angle it. That way the back piece one will fold forward and this the you know the seam won't be in there. So we'll just glue that flap down in there. And get that done and I'm going to fold this up to that score line with that flap and I'm going to fold that over and see you can leave these make up a bunch of these boxes and leave them flat like this and store them and then when you want to use them you just pull them out and glue them together glue the bottom together so that is the bottom flap coming forward and then the top flap is going to come over so it'll be on the bottom like when you're done making it or it'll, you know it'll be down towards the seam of this one and I'm going to stick my ruler down in there and push the paper down that way I know it gets a nice good seam and then you just have these two and we'll trim the corners of the of the lead part just so it goes in a little bit better <coughs> excuse me and it's a nice snug fit and then, you know, that's the back. You have the seam, which we can cover that up with something else. Or, you know, it's the bottom. And you have a nice little box. <coughs> so, like I said, this was the push paper ladies idea here. And all I did was decrease the size to make the smaller one. They're pretty simple. I'm going to make a bunch, and I'm just going to keep them fold, uh, you know, uh, not glued so that I can lay them flat uh, like this one for instance I'll, I'll glue the side real quick I want to make a bunch of these this way when I need a box I have them and I'm going to make them in all different sizes and I'm just going to keep them laying flat like this and store them and put them as boxes and then I'm going to make a ton so thank you Push Paper Lady for inspiring me on making these and I hope everybody uh, will try these. These make, like I said, excellent boxes for candies, for little gifts, anything. Thank you very much.